Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. How do we detect black holes in the uh, spa spa space around there? Can we spot them? Uh, yes, two ways. One is by way of its, uh, its uh, gravitational influence. Okay, if something's very heavy, it's going to influence stuff that's around it in, 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 in a certain way. Okay, uh, how, how the orbit looks, how the orbit of its companions look. So that's an, uh, all of these are indirect ways, okay? It's not a, as if I can directly say, yeah, that's a black hole, okay? So you can, you can, uh, you can, dis, uh, you can figure out the existence of a black hole via the orbits of stuff that's going around it. The other thing is, it also attracts matter. Okay, black holes attract matter onto it, and when matter is attracted, it gets hot and emits. Okay, and get, we go back to the old thing of spectroscopy, which is what most, almost, you know, 99.9% .9 of astronomy is based on. Uh, so, uh, so it emits, and matter becomes hot, and it emits at certain very specific wavelengths with, with very specific radiation signatures. And so by observing those radiation signatures, you sort of back calculate and say, well, it ought to have been this hot. If it ought to have been this hot, it should have been falling onto a black hole of this much mass or on an object of this, mass, of this kind of mass. And if the object is this heavy, well, most likely it should have been a black hole. So you see the very indirect chain of arguments, which leads to, to the conclusion that the object we are talking about is most likely a black hole. Honest statement to make, which often gets lost, I think this is part of what Prasad said, was uh, many observations are most easily explained by a black hole. And that's the indirect inference that's saying this must be a black hole. Uh, but in my opinion, the, the real definition of a black hole is, is to find what is called its event horizon, a uh, surface around the black hole within which light cannot move away. You know, that's called the event horizon. Uh, that would be the most direct measure of a black hole that you detected the event horizon. That has not been done yet. But there are lots of observations of objects which is most easily explained if you assume that the phenomenon is caused by a black hole. Uh, uh, like if you have a black hole then, then there must be something which is opposed to it by the Newton's third law that every action has an equal. Uh, uh, uh. Newton's third law doesn't apply here. But still that no, there it doesn't must apply be something here. that would uh, emit it doesn't, it doesn't apply. Light. Newton's third law doesn't apply here. Uh, but without taking it also there must be something that would be opposite to black hole. One has nothing to do with the other. Okay, what about the gamma ray? Uh, they were saying that it would be probably a white hole which would be the opposite of a black hole. I haven't come across too many papers which discuss... Yeah, as in, I, I don't know if this concept of a white hole has a firm sort of footing in any physics that we understand. There is no real reason that things that fall into a black hole should emerge from somewhere else. Right, like, uh, we, we don't, we haven't seen anything like that. Uh, so, I mean, there's, there's no reason to expect that something like that will exist unless, you know. See, it's true that mathematically the solutions in the interior of a black hole, okay, they are exactly, the, the, the mathematical solutions can be thought of with the exact opposite of what exists elsewhere. So, but that, then to call what's inside a black hole and therefore there can be evidence that, I mean, there might exist a white hole and everything, but what we cannot, what's inside an event horizon is by definition inaccessible to us, to those of us who are outside the event horizon. You can say anything you want about what's going on in the event horizon. This simply, th th that's, in my view, that that's not science. There can be all sorts of strange creatures here, yeah, maybe. Can you see them? Is there observational evidence? No, then, then let's not talk about it. That's, yeah. Okay, so.